I've always been a river belly, basically. My grandpa was about as bad as I am, if not worse. He always did nothing but trap, fish, dig roots. Uh, that was his whole life. He, he never knew anything else. I guess that's where I got my bloodline from. Some people uh, think this is a very simple lifestyle, but uh, me and my family has done this for uh, three generations now, and it's not near as simple as what it seems. We're smarter than what most people think we are. When I was a kid, this was my dream. When I went to school, the other kids would be doing things. I'd be out in the woods, sticking my finger in a coon's butt, you know, skinning coons, trapping. That's what I wanted to do. Just live on the river, away from people. Now over 60, Trapper John is the last of his line to live off the river. It's a battle that gets tougher every year, and this season's terrible catfish haul has made it Trapper's toughest yet. I got uh, three nets down the river. I'm going to run them. Hopefully they'll have some fish in them. Every season, Trapper must brave the barge collisions and the submerged logs that sink boats and take lives every year. All in his simple quest to catch 200 pounds of flathead catfish meat he and Foxy will need to survive the harsh winter. Somebody's in there. Flathead. That'll feed me for a couple meals. These nets are my lifeline. This is how I survive. This single 25-pound flathead will only yield about half its weight in edible meat and represents the kind of meager haul that's become commonplace. On the Wabash, every year seems to bring fewer catfish and bigger obstacles. If that's the only fish I get, that's going to be supper. Well, are you going to ride the boat, Foxy? Hmm? It's not for everybody, but I'm going to stay with it as long as I possibly can. I've got no place else to go, and that's where I want it. That's where I like it.